Greetings and welcome back to Yakuza. Now to cap off chapter 8, we have one more side quest available to us. And to start that off, we will go visit Kage in his little lair. Perfect timing. What happened? Well, a woman came by looking for you a while ago. Who was it? The wife of the late Sohei Dojima. Yayoi Dojima. What? The wife of your ex-boss, the one you killed. I didn't want any trouble, so I made her leave. She left you a letter. She asked me to hand it to you. That place is now a hideout for ex-Dojima gangsters. Regardless of what you think, they're trying to lure you into a trap. Kazuma, you shouldn't go. So apparently, Dojima's widow, of all people, has some business with us and wants to meet up. So, against our better judgment, we will do exactly that. Now, this side quest is actually going to encompass the entire video. I wouldn't usually do that, but I just kind of want to finish up the chapter in this video. So, here we are. Here's where it all started. Very quiet at this point. And these pictures actually stay on the screen until we press X to get rid of them. Which I did not remember. Now that was a bit of a depressing trip down memory lane, but that is not what we are here for. Well, this was not entirely unexpected. And also another reason why this... this side quest is its own episode is that... Well, I don't really think that this should have been a side quest. I think this should have been part of the main plot. I guess it kinda tries to be... tries to be a story mission because, you know, we have Kage making a point of telling you that, hey, this mission is available and you should come check it out before you leave for Yokohama, but... But yeah, this really should have been... Should have been main story, I think.
No, there's nothing here that we can't handle. One idiot with a with a sword and some muscle men, but but that's nothing too bad. Well, at least until I figured that I should be using this pot and breaking it over someone's head, because these guys just. Well, first off, I accidentally grab this fat man instead of grabbing the pot and get countered as a result, and then everything just kind of goes to hell for a second. I am going to smash this pot over someone's head if it's the last thing I do. Come on. It's getting silly. There we go. Completely worth it. You took the blame for someone else, didn't you? Who? Who killed him? Just give me a little time to gather my thoughts, alright? I promise to give you the answers when I'm finished with what I gotta do. I really, really like this side quest, it's... That cutscene there is just... It really, really should have been the... Or really should have been part of the main quest, I find. Because there is some... Pretty important development, I would say. As we see that... Yayoi doesn't... Or she actually realizes that she has been holding a grudge against the wrong person for the last decade. And she's a cool lady and... Unfortunately she will not show up in this particular game again, but... But she will make some more appearances later on in the series. But for now, let's have a chat with Date and finish this chapter. <laughs> so, you took the girl. Correct. I was just told that the girl has arrived at our headquarters in Chinatown. Now, about the reward you promised me. A deal is a deal, correct? Yeah, no problem. So, three billion yen to your snake flower triad. Three? Mr. Shimano, you take seven billion? No, we only take five. Then, who gets the remaining two? Ah, there you are. Lao, let me introduce you to someone. This is a lieutenant of the Omi family. Tirada. Lao, I've heard a lot about you. He's the one that got us the information about the girl from that idiot Nishki. The Omi family gets the remaining two billion. I see. Well, I understand. <laughs> that dumbass kid, Nishki. He just doesn't fucking get it. He's 20 years younger than me, for fuck's sake. Does he really think he can outsmart me? 